am Aaron Dominion, and this is the Creation Kit scripting series, so people can learn how to use Papyrus uh, to script events or script stuff to happen in Skyrim. So, I'm going to be covering in this uh, video what this lesson series will do, what do you need to get started, and where to contact me if you have any questions in the future over any of the lessons or just scripting questions in general. Um, so first, let's get into what will the lesson series do. Um, my goal is to help uh, people that are modding Skyrim learn Papyrus. Uh, another goal, because I think it's equally as important, is to understand the workings of Papyrus so you can experiment and try new things out. If you know the basic, if you know the concepts, uh, you can build things from scratch without looking at an example. Um, and this goes into attempting to teach a programming-like mindset when approaching Papyrus. Um, this is not important for you, since uh, for most of you, since uh, you won't need to know this necessarily. But Papyrus, at least in my mind, is an object-oriented, functional, and event-driven scripting language, which means you have a lot of power that you can do basically and it's modeling the Skyrim world in such a way to where, oh hey, this event over here that actually goes along with something that I do in the game, or something that one of the other characters do in the day does in the game. And things like that, oh, this is how this uh, character interacts with this barrel, for example. So, the progression of the series of course, since this is any like program or script type thing, we're going to start with Hello World, uh, how to display that in the game. Um, and then we're going to go into some of the basics of the mechanics of Papyrus, like creating variables, manipulating variables, um, displaying simple message without worrying about the variables too much so you can see what you're doing and learn what's going on in the background. Um, Next, after we get the basics down, we're going to start learning about events and functions and what they are, how to use them, where they will work better, uh, since uh, certain types of scripts can only use certain types of events and functions. Don't worry too much about that right now. Um, and then we're going to learn about objects, since uh, your barrels are an object, your characters are an object, your spells are an object, uh, anything in your inventory is an object, and it can be a different type of object too. It's really cool the things that are objects, and learning about how that is will help you a lot in your scripting in the future. Um, then we're going to go into designing. Uh, how to design a script, uh, what planning to go through, whenever you're thinking about scripting. Uh, these are really good, it's really good to get into a planning slash designing mindset when you're scripting so it can help collect your thoughts, it can uh, make your step-by-step -step easier for when you're doing a script. Um, next, uh, we're going to just go through some scripting exercises to put all that you learned in the previous lessons together outside of whatever uh, basic exercises I give along with those lessons uh, in the previous lessons. Excuse me. Uh, learning how to design a script system. Basically there's some times where you just want to have multiple scripts working together or there's scripts that are on this object and there's a script on this object but they're both communicating to the same thing. Uh, learning how to deal with that, how to design it, um, and then we're going to do scripting exercises to actually put together the multiple script system. So, okay, that's all good, but what do you need to get started for uh, Papyrus scripting? Well, uh, the tools, you need to have Skyrim installed, obvious, excuse me, obviously. Uh, it's really important to have uh, you get the game installed so you can test out what you're scripting. The creation kit installed so you can implement your script. Um, and then here's something that I think will 
make scripting easier, especially on larger uh, lessons or assignments that you do, or just whenever you experiment in the future. Notepad++. Basically, it's like Notepad, except it allows for some of the basic things to help your code slash script more readable to you while you're uh, coding it up. Um, let me actually show you what Notepad++ looks like real quick. So here we got this program. And here we go. Notice how it does the syntax highlighting uh, of all the events, of all of the variables, um, the objects, and such. It's really, really useful when it you are um, uh, doing programming. And there's the download link. Uh, so you can download Notepad++, and then the Creation Kit Wiki actually has a good tutorial, step-by-step, -step on how to set up a Notepad++ for your papyrus. Um, here's some other tools, because I mentioned design earlier. Microsoft Office, or another Office suite. I included OpenOffice here in this uh, video, slash PowerPoint. So I could help uh, you get started with that. It helps uh, if you're a visual person or need to visualize what you're designing. It's definitely good to have some sort of diagram program so you can do that. Um, and then a simple text editor is also something to have open, uh, good to have open at the time, such as Notepad or Notepad++, so you can uh, store your thoughts down while you're working. Um, oops, sorry. Uh, here's some mental things that you probably want to get uh, into the mindset of before you enter a script uh, or a scripting tutorial. Um, math. That is something really important since a lot of your basic operations is adding values, subtracting values, multiplying values, dividing vi values, um, adding multiple variables together uh, like an algebra or doing algebra, basically. And then geometry, so you can imagine, well, okay, we have this barrel. What happens when we move it here? What happens when we move it here? Uh, to get used to the XYZ coordinate system, since uh, Skyrim uses an XYZ coordinate plane in the three-dimensional space. Um, Step-by-step thinking. Um, Scripting is like an algorithm or a recipe from a cookbook, and, uh, sorry about that. Uh, and there's steps that are required whenever you go through, or steps whenever you're trying to create something. And uh, as long as you follow those steps, and then whenever there's a branching step when you're troubleshooting or something like that, follow those steps and you should be good to go, at least in trying to get through the scripting. Um, patience is also something really, really important. There's, It's a different way of thinking, such as uh, math or science uh, compared to writing or philosophy, as the examples I gave here in this video, but it's you have to think about your pro... It's a lot of logic. You have to think, well, okay, so I want to do this. But in order to do this, I need to do this, this, and this. How do I do this, this, and this? And what will that this, this, and this look like? And you will try your first attempt, or and 90% of the time, you don't get exactly what you want out of the deal, or it gives you an error. And don't give up whenever you enter. If, whenever you encounter that. It's really important to not give up, be determined, be patient with it, try something new, um, check for any uh, errors in how you spelled something, all sorts of stuff that you need to just look at and be patient about while you're learning and while you're actually doing scripting. So where do you contact me in the future for future questions either on the lessons or the video? I am a modder on the Nexus, and I receive email notifications of personal messages um, 
included in the video in the video here are a few links um, I'm going to include them in the video description uh, if it's easier to do it that way than to type it out here which probably is easier um, and that's it I uh, hope that the that this and the future lessons will be helpful to you and you're uh, wanting to learn how to script um, if you're experienced and just want to understand some of the basics I hope this uh, well understand the mechanics excuse me I hope this helps you out there. Um, feel free to hit me up anytime if you have questions about the content or just a question in general. Thanks, have a good day, and good luck in your mods.